everyone, thanks for joining my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Dr. Salcedo, your conscious gynecologist. Today we're going to be talking about how uterine fibroids can be a sign of cardiovascular disease. So let's get to it. First of all, what is a fibroid, or the scientific term leiomyoma? A fibroid is a spherical structure of smooth muscle that abnormally develops in places within the uterus and can cause pelvic discomfort, uterine distortion, infertility, and heavy, painful periods. But what causes the uterus to grow such structures? Why would the uterus do this? This is a source of frustration with many patients because oftentimes they hear that fibroids develop out of a function of a woman's genes. And while that's partially true, it's not the only reason. In fact, genetic predisposition is actually lower on the list of risk factors for fibroids. The most common risk factor for uterine fibroid development is high blood pressure, then obesity, then diabetes, and then smoking. And then lower on the list, much lower on the list, are genetic factors. Hypertension, obesity, diabetes, and smoking involve the circulation of damaging molecules called cytokines, interleukins, and activation of immune cells. The circulation of these damaging structures often impair the blood vessels, and that's called endothelial inflammation. Now, what do all these medical problems have in common? Well, the answer is endothelial inflammation. So endothelial inflammation is circulating molecules that cause damage to the blood vessels at the microscopic level. We see this in medical problems like atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, heart disease, or kidney disease. At all levels, these damaging structures are associated with organ damage seen in other medical problems like retinopathy, kidney disease, heart disease, varicose veins, and obesity. The connection here is smooth muscle, which is a type of muscle group in the body. The arteries are made of smooth muscle. The interesting thing that people rarely correlate is the uterus at nearly all levels is made of smooth muscle. And why is this so exciting and important? It's because the same risk factors or inflammatory factors that cause heart disease and atherosclerosis are also found as potentiating factors for causing uterine fibroids and endometrial polyps. And uterine fibroids and endometrial polyps are important causes of abnormal uterine bleeding. In fact, in 1975, two pathologists, Moss and Benden, actually reported on one of the first studies that revealed in vitro the cells of leiomyoma or fibroids behave similarly to that of arterial atherosclerotic plaques. Since then, several studies and bodies of literature have also reported similar findings. This is really exciting to me because not only have we known this since the 1970s, we can actually teach women about how to reduce their risk for these problems. By reducing endothelial inflammation, we can reduce our risk for uterine problems. Imagine teaching women this correlation so they leave the gynecologist's office empowered with information about how to reduce and potentially address their gynecologic problems with lifestyle intervention. While there are no studies that reveal that diet can cure uterine fibroids or endometrial polyps, we can reduce their associated risk by reducing our cardiovascular, obesity, and diabetes risk. If we do this, we could potentially reduce our risk for gynecologic problems. I hope this is as exciting for you as it is for me, because one of the common frustrations I have, and also patients have, is that when they leave doctor's offices, we are told that uterine fibroids and endometrial polyps are typically problems that are treated medically and surgically, and that's true. And sometimes we as gynecologists perform surgical treatments for these disorders without really addressing the reduction of inflammatory risk factors. Yet, we can include reduction of body inflammation by addressing lifestyle factors to reduce the potential risk of these problems developing in the future. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to hear about future videos. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you came and that you're joining us today.